over the course okay, of the just sit down, please. But when you when you report fake news. President, that this caravan was an invasion. As you know, I, Mr. President, I consider it to be an as invasion. As you know, Mr. President, the caravan was not an invasion. It's a it's a, a group of migrants moving up from Central America towards the border with the U.S. Thank you for telling and me that. And why why did you why did you characterize it as such? Uh, because and, I consider it an invasion. You and I have a difference of opinion. But do you think that you demonized immigrants in not this election no, to try I to want keep them, I want them to come into the country, but they have to come in legally. You know, they have to come in, Jim, through a process. I want it to be a process. And I want people to come in, and we need right. the people. Your you know, campaign, wait, your campaign. Wait, wait, you know why we need the people, don't you? Because we have hundreds of companies moving in. We need the people. Right. They're hundreds of miles away, though. They're hundreds and hundreds of you know miles what? away. That, that's I not an invasion. Should, honestly, uh, miles you know what? Away. That, that's I not an invasion. Should, honestly, uh, I think you should let me run the country. You run CNN. All right. And if you did it well, your ratings well, let me would be ask, much if better. I, if I may okay, ask one enough. other question, Mr. President, if I may, I, that's well, I was going to ask one of the, the other folks. That's had, enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm, Mr. Excuse President, me. that's enough. Mr. President, I had one other Peter, question, if I may ask, on on the Russia investigation. Are you concerned that? That you may have I'm not concerned about anything with the Russian investigation because it's a hoax. Are you, That's enough. Put down the mic. Mr. President, are you worried about indictments coming down in this investigation? Mr. President. I'll tell you what, CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude, terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. Go ahead. I, I think that's unfair. You're a very rude person. The way you treat Sarah Huckabee is horrible. And the way you treat other people are horrible. You shouldn't treat people that way. Go ahead. In, in, go in ahead, Jim, Peter. Go in, ahead. In Jim's defense, I've traveled with him and watched him. He's a diligent reporter who busts. Well, I'm not like a big fan of, of yours either. So I yeah, understand. To be honest. So let, me, so let me ask you a question, if I can. You repeatedly you said are, you are the best, Mr. President. You repeatedly, over the course okay, of okay, just sit down, please. Well, when you when you report fake news, no, when you report fake news, which CNN does a lot. You are the enemy of the people. Go ahead. Mr. President, over the, course, over the course of the last several days of the campaign, sir, sir, at the end of the campaign, you repeatedly said that Americans need to fear Democrats. You said it would unleash a wave of violent crime that endangers families everywhere. Why are you because pitting very Americans? Weak on crime. Why are you pitting, why Excuse are you pitting Americans Peter. against one another, sir? Peter, are you trying to be him? No, Peter, I'm just asking just, the question. Let me just tell you. Very simple. Because they're very weak on crime. Um, on the campaign trail, you called yourself a nationalist. Some people saw that as emboldening white nationalists. Now people are also saying that the president. I don't know why you'd that say that. It's such a racist question. There are some people that say that yeah. now the Republican Party is seen as supporting white nationalists oh, because of your rhetoric. That. I don't what do you that. make of that? I, let me tell you, it's a racist question. And Mr. Uh, president, I'm I gonna love ask You know what the word is? I love our country. I do. You call, you have nationalists, you have globalists. I also love the world. And I don't mind helping the world, but we have to straighten out our country first. We have a lot of problems. And this Excuse me. But to say that, what you said, is so insulting to me. It's a very terrible thing that you said. Well, I'll give you voter su I, I will give you voter suppression. You just have to sit down, please. Sit down. I didn't call you. I didn't call you. I didn't call you. I'll give you voter suppression. Take a look at the CNN polls, how inaccurate they were. That's called voter suppression. Go Thank ahead, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'm not, I'm not responding. I'm responding to, excuse me, I'm not responding to you. I'm talking to this gentleman. Would you please sit down? Would, excuse me, excuse me, would you please sit down? Please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. Now that the, uh, now that the House of Representatives Very hostile, has uh, it's such a hostile media. It's so sad. You ask me about, no, you rudely interrupted him. You rudely interrupted him. Go ahead.